The flag bearer of the NDC has repeatedly emphasized on the country's indebtedness due to mismanagement of the economy. According to him, mismanagement of the economy by the present government has resulted in the slow pace of development. This is how John Mahama described the economy. The MPP has brought Ghana's economy to the lowest ebb that has ever been seen in our history. We are broke. We are indebted. There is hardship in the land. There is no money in the system. People do not have disposable incomes. Pensioners' monies have been taken. Bondholders' monies have been taken. And so it's created a very critical situation for us. Repeatedly, Mr. Mahama, who is taking opinions of the electorate to feed into the NDC's manifesto for the upcoming elections, has pleaded for a grace period if the NDC returns to power. He explains the need. And I'll plead with the teachers' unions, Nat and Nagrat and Utag and Tewu and all of them. I know all of you are clamoring for allowances, increase in your allowances and so on and so forth. Let me caution you that in 2025, inshallah, after we take over, we will show you the books and the finances of this country. And you realize, and you realize the harm that the MPP administration has done to Ghana's economy. This country is broke. And so we would beg you that when we come into office, give us a bit of a honeymoon. Let's put things in place so that we can bring the economy back on its feet. And when we have done that, we can uh, accede to your demands again. And that's why I'm being very measured in the promises that I make. Because we all know the crisis in which this country has been plunged. Meanwhile, Mr. Mahama has assured of his preparedness to lead efforts to restore the economy. He reveals the electorate in areas visited continue to clamor for the return of the NDC. And I know that as soon as we come, one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to hold a national conference, a national economic dialogue, and we're going to bring all stakeholders together. We'll open the books for you to see the mess that the NPP has left for all of us and what we have to do to be able to bring it back. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima reporting.